So as you know, last night the Cannabis Act completed its legislative journey and passed both chambers of Parliament. We are very pleased to have reached this point in delivering on our progressive policy promise, commitment to legalize and strictly regulate cannabis. There are a few steps left in Bill C-45 before it becomes law, and it is important to state that up front. Cannabis for non-medical use is not legal yet. The law still remains the law. The date that cannabis will become legal will be announced soon. Until then, I urge all Canadians to continue to follow the existing law until the Cannabis Act comes into force. As noted, the legislation is transformative. C-45 marks a wholesale shift in how our country approaches cannabis. It leaves behind a failed model of prohibition, a model that has made organized crime rich and left our young people vulnerable. In its place, we will have a new system that will give adults the opportunity to purchase and consume cannabis legally from authorized suppliers. Most importantly, our shift in policy will protect youth from the health and safety risks of cannabis and keep those same criminals from profiting from its production, distribution and sale. So with that, I am incredibly proud um, to have worked on this piece of historic legislation, um, historic legislation that was accomplished by our government, by parliamentarians, provinces and territories, municipalities, Indigenous communities, medical and legal experts, and all Canadians who contributed to this historic shift. I think we certainly have to recognize that as Canadians, we trust Canadians that if uh, they choose to, drill, to grow cannabis within their homes, they grow, that they are going to be doing so safely. Uh, we, and we've made it very clear with respect to the approach moving forward that we are certainly making sure that we have a public health approach as we move forward with respect to Bill C-45. We've provided much information with respect to public education, and we certainly want to make sure that Canadians are aware of the risk related to, to cannabis consumption. Under their noses now. Well, I think we also have to recognize that as Canadians, that we have many Canadians have alcohol in their home, they have medication in their home, and we certainly believe that Canadians will safeguard uh, the, the cannabis within their home if they if they so have it there. So, in no way do we think this is going to be any different uh, than with people, you know, perhaps making wine in their home or, or growing tobacco in their home. So, I think we have to trust Canadians that they are going to be doing so responsibly, and uh, we certainly believe that that is going to be the case moving forward. Well, you